Good day to you, my listeners. Good day to somebody listening to this particular episode on the Believer's Health Talk today. By the grace of God, today I will be speaking on the Believer's Health, on what I titled Customizing Your Medication. Customizing your medication. I remain yours, Dr. Ben Gawie. And before I continue, I also like to use this moment to enjoin you to subscribe to this channel in case you have not done so. I'm certain that the little little things God share with us on this platform will translate practically to a means of deliverance and liberation of many even as we meditate on these things we share in Jesus name so subscribe make comments and share God bless you let me again talk about the topic I've mentioned customizing your medication you may ask me what do I mean by medication for the context of this particular uh, talk I like to say that the medication I refer to here is anything you use to make a correction an adjustment or that serves as a therapy to any condition. The medication in this context may be drugs, maybe chemical drugs, maybe natural drugs, but also it might be spiritual. It might be scriptural it might be scriptures the word of god is medicinal the word of god is highly medicinal in fact the best medicine universal medicine eh, is the word of god is the word of god but thank god that the scripture has uh, given us open access to seeing the provisions of God from nature, in nature, from the word of God, and in the word of God that we can use together at any given point in time as a therapy for a condition we may be going through. I like to say at this point that customization of medication is scriptural. Customization of medication is very scriptural. And it is a condition at hand that will de determine or dictate what and what to combine as medication. If a man is sick, scripturally, it's not the physical health alone that can be regarded as sickness. Any situation that is deviated from the norm, deviated from the ideal, deviated from what God ordained it to be, it's already sick. It's a sick condition. So, we can talk of therapy on physical health. We can talk. We can talk of therapy on finances. We can talk of therapy on protection. We can talk of 
different things how we can customize the solution from the word of God. So when we are interested in financial breakthrough therapy from the scripture, we know the set of verses of the scripture that may be very directly applicable to us. When we are talking about healings, physical, bodily healing, mind and soul, the healing of the mind and the health of man, we know that there are also verses of scripture that are very suitable for this. And at such times, we are not only depending on the word in letter, but by the revelation of it. Praise God. So, we know very well that customization is only describing a condition whereby we carefully and intentionally bring together the items that we need and formulate them in a way that will suit or that will meet the need of a person at a given point in time. In my practice in naturopathy, I have observed carefully that as much as the medicinal apps are versatile and very, very helpful, the best way to use them is also to customize their use for an individual. And in this way, we, we have a responsibility to understand the condition at hand and we have a responsibility to select items, other resources, natural resources that, are tail that can be tailored suitably to meeting that actual need. I have this worry in quotes when people have three, four, five, six, seven conditions at a point in time that they love to treat. And if you have four conditions, you are likely to be given four drugs, one for headache, one for pains, one for stomach ache, one for BP at the same time, if you have diabetes, another one. If you have all these kinds of ailments. Some people will have as much as seven things they have complained. And seven different drugs are prescribed for each of those conditions. To me, in my understanding, I see it as a very major error, even in science. Because most times, if you had complained only of one or two things of such array of ailments, they would have given you just two. And either you use five medications, six medications, eight medications, you are dealing with one liver, one kidney, one body. You are dealing with one liver, one kidney, one heart, eh? one body. And the concentration of all these different, different chemicals have a way of demanding more on the operations of the kidney and the liver. At this point, I love to say with confidence, well, I've had opportunities in very intellectual conferences to say similar things I'm saying to you, that if only we will be careful enough to give right dosage. The right dosage in code is a safe range of dosage, safe dosage on other medicine. It is much more, much more safer, body friendly than any chemical drugs. Very often, you see that even the medical practitioners, they try as much as possible to avoid chemical drugs. 
you may not know. A pharmacist may be freer to dispense drugs to you. But go and find out. Most pharmacies are very skeptical, very reserved at taking chemical drugs that they prescribe. They know it will sort out some things on the immediate time. But they also know much more that the consequences of these drugs are not very friendly. When you treat this ailment, it goes, it brings another one. You treat that ailment, it probably goes and brings another one. Before you know it, the three of them comes together again as an expression. But when you are able to tailor your medication and have possibly single medication or maximum to, to meet a need, I mean to meet the series of need on the body at a time, you are going to put your liver, your kidney, your heart in a very safe mode. In my practice over the time, I tell people there is no way you can use prescription drugs for more than two weeks. Eh? That you very heavy prescription drugs for more than two weeks that you not see very obvious side events, effects. Yes, it may have marked effect, positive effect on what you are treating, but you must complain something else. But again, you have seen people that are giving some drugs, they call it prescription drugs to use for life. There is nothing like that in the, in the ordination of God. There is nothing like that, that a chemical, a drug should be used for life. In fact, the way God built man is that in stages, in situations when assistance is needed, you, you, you can assist. But you are not to assist indefinitely as to make the body vegetable, as to make, a vo as to make the body irresponsible. If you see a, a child that wants to walk, he may fall down. First time, fall down. Second time, fall down. You can do some assistance in carrying him up and encourage him to walk. But if you just chose to keep assisting him to walk, I mean, you don't want him to try it out. The guy may never walk, may never run. But you train the body as an ego. You train the body in such a way that you give it opportunity and chances to develop its own, its own ability to fight for itself. Many times, people take antibiotics, very, very heavy antibiotics. But we also know that, in effect, the antibiotics may kill the infections, but they also compromise the innate immune system of the body. The very innate in immune system of the body, such so that the long run effect of using heavy antibiotics is compromising the immune system of the body. So, in my description of customized medication, I am saying with confidence that it is possible to acquire knowledge on how to get resources together and formulate just single medication that will at the same time, at the same time, attend to all the complaints you may have. That's customized medication. In my practice here, that is all that I keep encouraging. Somebody will ask me, I'm using uh, this drug and that drug for BP and uh, diabetes, but I want you to prepare medication for me for arthritis. You see, no. Somebody will call you, I'm using drug for diabetes, I'm using drug for hypertension, 
and my sugar level and my BP level, they are in good range with the drug that I'm using. But this arthritis is seriously disturbing me. I also did a scan. They said that my heart is somewhat enlarged. These are the things we see commonly. And they want me to do medication for arthritis. They want me to do medication for enlarged heart. Maybe at that time, they are not ready to quit the usage of chemical drugs they have been using over time because they have told them, possibly, you cannot do away with this drug for life. I'd like to announce to us at this point that there is no drug that is ordained for a life usage, sincerely speaking. But when I meet to some people, I tell them, well, if you want me to prepare something for you, I will rather prepare something that will take care of the appetite, I mean the hypertension and the diabetes. At the same time, the arthritis. That is customization. And as a matter of fact, it is actually the medications you use for diabetes and uh, hypertension that would necessitate the emergence of arthritis. So I can't be treating arthritis and still be using the same drug that is causing them. So in customization, we focus on the possibility of having one single or at most two medications that have the capacity of meeting all the complaints of an individual at a given point in time. Can I shock you? I have this joy to tell you that when you use the word eh, as medication, the word does not differentiate what ailments. Hmm? Either it is malaria or typhoid or HIV or hypertension or cancer or whatever. The revelation of the word of God is therapeutic against any form of ailments. And I tell people as a believer, even when you are using whatever medication, don't discharge yourself from engaging the revelation of the scripture. It is the wisdom of God for you and me. When you catch the light, it brings the healing. When you catch the light, it brings the joy. And the joy draws from the wells of salvation. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. While you are using whatever medication you are using, hmm, which of course I would recommend natural things, also don't distance yourself from the application of the revelation of the word of God, which brings health and wholeness. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. For the sake of time, I would love to possibly continue this very topic in the next episode. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Or sometimes to come. I wish us the best. And I pray for you listening to me. That the Lord Almighty will grant you solid health, good health to serve the Lord. And to enjoy this life which you have obtained in God in Jesus' name. I remain yours, Dr. Bengari. Please connect, get, get, keep connected and share. Subscribe. The Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Have a nice time. Thank you.